Welcome to Mission 6 Lesson 2, where our student objective is for today is to use metric measurement and area models to represent tenths as fractions greater than one and decimal numbers. More simply put, what we're going to be doing today is, hey, if we had a mixed number, so remember, a mixed number is a whole number and a fraction with it, how could we rewrite that as a decimal instead of? Of writing it as a mixed number with a fraction. Okay, let's take a look at a couple examples together. Here are a couple of mixed numbers because they have a whole number and they have a fraction with them. So we have one and two tenths and then we have two and four tenths. What we are asked to do today is rewrite this one and two tenths or two and four tenths or whatever your mixed number may be as a decimal in decimal form as opposed to in fraction form. So it's pretty straightforward. So if we had one and two tenths, okay, if we had one and two tenths, well, my whole number is one. So it stays the same. So I have one. What we really need to change though is the fraction part, the fraction part. As we looked at yesterday, or in the previous lesson, more or less, we can rewrite two tenths in decimal form. So what did we say? How did we write two tenths in decimal form? We said, well, two tenths in decimal form was decimal and then two, because this is our tenth place, just like that. What we do today is, since there's a whole number in front, it's just not going to be a zero in front. We have, in this case, a one or whatever a whole number is. But we'd still just rewrite the two tenths as decimal two. So notice the whole number stayed the same. I had my decimal two in the tenths place right here. So this is one and two tenths. Understand that one and two tenths written this way in fraction form or one and two tenths written in decimal form, they're still equal to each other. It's two different ways of saying it though or writing it. So knowing that if we have two holes and four tenths here, so two and four tenths, I'm going to rewrite that by simply putting my whole number two and then I'm going to put my decimal and then my four tenths here, my fraction, just goes like this. Because again, this is the tenths place. So the decimal really just converts it to look like this. So this would be two and four tenths. Two and four tenths. Straightforward. Now, something else we're going to be asked to do today then is to reason with these decimals and to figure out, okay, so for instance, if I had one and two tenths, which is this decimal right here, which is this number, and then I want to know, okay, how many more tenths would it take to get to two holes? How many more tenths would it take to get to two holes? So I can also think of it in fraction form here. If I had one and two tenths and I wanted to get to two holes, well, how many more tenths do I need? Well, remember, in fraction form, a 10 tenths, if we're in tenths, is a whole number. That is still true in decimal form. So if I had two tenths and I wanted to get up to 10 tenths, how many more tenths do I need? So again, I want to end up At 10 tenths, how many more tenths do I need? I would need, well, the difference between 10 and 2 is 8 tenths. Now I'm just going to rewrite that in decimal form. So if I had 1 and 2 tenths and I wanted to get to two holes in decimal form, I would say, well, I would need 8 tenths more to get there. Same thing here, down below. So we have two and four tenths, and we want to get to three holes. So again, this is the same as saying two 
and four tenths, and we want to get to three holes. So to get to the next whole number, if I have four tenths, how many more tenths do I need to get to 10 tenths? Well, I would need, let's see, 10 minus four is six tenths. It would take me six tenths more to get to another whole number. And I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm just gonna rewrite it as a decimal. So six tenths, I'm just gonna rewrite in decimal form. It would take six tenths more to get to that next whole number. So again, our decimals are like our fractions that we were learning, that we've learned about. But in this case, and especially for today's lesson, we're just dealing in tenths. Tenths. Because that's what decimals deal is. Tenths, hundredths, etc. So today we just want to, if it's a whole number, the whole number stays the same. And then we have our decimal and we rewrite the fraction just at that first slot right here. Good luck to you on this decimal fun journey. I was trying to think of something that, what are we, a decimal day. Yeah. Have fun on this decimal day. Yeah. Good luck.